Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are here to talk to you about fiber, uh, technology, talent, funding, and very important, rock and roll. And we will explain how fiber is actually related with uh, rock and roll and how uh, bands in rock and roll develop. Let, let us introduce ourselves first. And um, my name is Juan Jorro and I use two hats. My first hat has to do with my job at Telefonica, where I play the role of CTO, Chief Technology Officer, of the unit that has to do with development of the IoT platform, the Internet of Things platform that Comer uh, Telefonica commercialized. Also, the smart city platform that we are offering to cities. But the second hat I use uh, is that one where I play the role of coordinator and chief architect of FIWER, this big platform and open initiative we are running, uh, starting here in Europe and now expanding all over the world, that is a great opportunity for all of you entrepreneurs, as you will learn today. Hello, and I'm Nacho de Pinedo. I'm a digital optimist and an entrepreneur and business angel. I'm not very optimist today because I had to sleep in a, in a rucksack uh, because of the inflation of, of Barcelona hotels this week. Uh, however, I'm founder and CEO of ISD and Internet Academy, and I'm the steering committee member at IMPACT, which is one of five 16 accelerators. And IMPACT is an accelerator which is based in Barcelona. Okay, and what are we going to um, tell you today and explain to you today? That rock and roll bands are like you. And in, not only because you rock, startups rock, it's because you share these kind of dreams uh, about changing the world, about uh, getting the hit and, and, and become uh, famous. It's also about the kind of barriers you will have to overcome. And this is what we are going to develop. Uh, yeah. And if rock and roll bands are like startups, the founders look very much like rock stars. You know these people? Yeah, Steve Jobs and Steve Bosniak? Don't they look very much like Simon and Garfunkel? Uh, and do you know this guy, Bill Gates? He's strangely very similar to John Lennon. And if we go further, you know these guys here? Uh, they are founders uh, uh, at Google. Don't they look very much like the Rolling Stones? And uh, you know Mark Zuckerberg? Uh, he's like Justin Bieber. Uh, sorry, Mark, for that one. Mm -hmm. And if we look at Twitter founder Jack Dorsey, isn't he a bit like Robert Sickle? And uh, Elon Musk, he's the founder of Tesla. He looks very much like uh, Pharrell Williams. And look at this guy. You know, Jack Ma, he's my favorite. He looks very much like Bruno Mars. Sometimes, sometimes looks very much like Kiss. And if you need a further proof that founders are rock stars, just look at this video. presentation of Alibaba uh, going to IPO in uh, China, 60,000 audience in a big stadium. And that guy is Jack Ma, uh, he's the founder. So we are going to now elaborate on not just the similarities in image and stuff like that, but really these barriers and those keys for getting successful. That's Again, the analogy we want to make about rock, uh, rock and roll bands and startups and how Fiverr is going to bring all these ingredients for you to succeed. 
Okay, so the first thing you need, uh, either if you are a rock and roll band or if you are a startup, is a place to start. And we all know that big bands like Nirvana started in a garage, and big companies, big startups like Google or like Apple started as well in a, in a garage. Uh, you are lucky because if you are a startup uh, and you enter into Fiverr acceleration program, you will not have a, 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 a garage to start. You will probably have places like the Mediatik, as we have here in Barcelona, which is the place from Barcelona Activa, which is a place where the startups from Impact are, are starting, and they have a six-month period for free in one of the newest, brand new places for startups in the world. OK, great. Um, can someone imagine what would be music if the standards do not exist? If pentagrams, uh, the pentagram system didn't exist, or if there were no um, specifications about what is a gig guitar and how it's created and can be built so that everyone that plays the guitar can uh, generate the same sounds. That would be really impossible. So, Fiber is about creating those standards, those standards that will allow you as a startups, as developers, to create applications and target a large market, a market large enough to you know, uh, perform the necessary investment and, and, and take the risk. Let me just illustrate with a, an example. We are running workshops during this week about some of the technologies, these standards, so I call you to come to those workshops, but let me just give one example about context management. If you have to create a smart application, you need to deal with context, with what's going around your user and how you can react in an intelligent manner. Fiverr brings the kind of APIs that allows you to get access to this information provided by the cities, by companies, by organizations, by factories, and create those fancy applications, very interesting applications that really deliver a new way to process and run operations. Okay, and another thing that, that you need, if either you are a, a rock band or if you are a startup, is you need to mix and grow different talents. Imagine a band that is made just of drummers. It makes no sense, it will not succeed. Uh, a band needs to have a drummer that keeps the, the tempo, someone like Chad Smith from uh, Red Hot Pili Chili Peppers, needs maybe a, a guitar to make uh, solos, someone like uh, Brian May from Queen maybe, and needs a, as well uh, a, a singer, uh, let's say Adele for instance, uh, uh, to keep the tension. Okay, but that, that's exactly what happens uh, with startups. You need a mixture of talents. It's not just having the programmer. You need that digital uh, business guy. Uh, remember Apple? Uh, Steve Bosniak was the programmer, and Steve Jobs was the businessman. So the same talents you have to assemble uh, within a startup. You need an advertising guy, you need a search engine guy, you need a mobile guy, you need a content guy, you need a, an e-commerce guy. So what we do in our accelerator is to assess the talents of each startup and we see which are the talents that they need most and we try to promote them as a whole, not as a single individual. This is the way to increase the chances to succeed. And just remember, Fiverr and the Fiverr Acceleration Program is the place to bring your talent and put it at work. And it's not just about showcasing that talent. We are going to give away funding, grants for you to develop your ideas. 80 million euros have been mobilized for the, this year and the next to help entrepreneurs create applications based on fiber and materialize their dreams. Yeah, by the way, we are giving 100K for free with no equity consideration for all the startups that come into the impact program. And one of the things that are key for any uh, rock and roll band is training, 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 training. Remember that the success of Pink Floyd, of Led Zeppelin, of Michael Jackson was just very obsessive training and rehearsal. Same happened with uh, Steve Jobs. Do you remember he was obsessed with, with all the uh, rehearsals he did, in all, uh, he did in all the presentations that we had? That's basically the pattern we are using in our accelerator. We are, uh, on the one side, giving full training on digital entrepreneurship um, uh, um, uh, knowledge, 
and we are bringing people to here to Barcelona and giving them 200 hours of digital entrepreneurship training and as well and that's more much more important we are giving them mentoring and we are giving them more than 50 mentors that do either a follow-up mentorship or a specialized very technical mentor mentorship on special items that they need for their startups this is another way of increasing the, the chances to succeed yeah you can follow us on Twitter and the website where we will inform you about uh, upcoming events, uh, training events, like for instance, the next Fireware Developers Week that we will run in Madrid next week. But for, uh, rock and roll bands also need about tools to meet the audience. And I think we all have uh, seen how the internet has really become instrumental in this aspect. Many bands today are able to showcase their talent and became famous just by bringing their stuff on something like YouTube. So we thought in Fiverr, in the Fiverr program, that we need to put in place something similar, and that is Fiverr Lab. Fiverr Lab is a sandbox environment where you can find Fiverr being deployed, where you can create an account for free, uh, play with the technology, create uh, your application, and very importantly, showcase it. This is a place where we are activating potential customers, domain stakeholders that are eager to find you, eager to meet you. And they were looking for a place on the internet where they can uh, really find you. This is going to be Fireware Lab. It's running, it's based on a federated network of data centers all over Europe and now expanding in other regions worldwide, starting with Latin America. We are talking about a really powerful cloud environment that is there for you to use and create your application, showcase it, meet your customer, and why not raise funding? Thank you. Okay, so why are we doing this? Why a startup or a rock band is doing what they are doing? They are doing that because they want to reach glory and fame. Can any of you tell me which is the most sold album of all the times? An idea? It, thriller, very good. And according to Rolling Stone, which is the most beautiful song? Uh, you will never uh, uh, find this one. It's re um, re like a Rolling Stone. And, uh, do you know which is the band that got more, more platinum and gold records in history? Any idea? Okay, that's Aerosmith, okay? So that are the ways to reach glory and fame for a rock band. What are the ways of reaching glory and fame for a startup? I think it's, it's easy. It's maybe an exit, an exit like, like the one that was up did. Uh, they pay them one, uh, no, sorry, 19,000 million dollars, uh, and that's not bad. Maybe it's an IPO, like Alibaba did. Now Alibaba is valued at 280,000 million dollars. It's not bad, okay? But for a, a small startup, maybe it's just going to the next round, okay? That's enough. Probably that's enough. Another round to keep you kicking. And that's another thing that we do in the acceleration program. We provide contacts, contacts and demo days with VCs and business angels to provide funds for the next round so the startups can maybe in a, in a short or medium uh, term get to, to, to reach their exit and their IPO, which is the glory for them. But I'm pretty sure that you are not there just for raising money and you know, become millionaires. Of course, that is interesting, but I'm pretty sure you are also there because you want to make impact. Impact where you live, impact in history, everything. That's why we, I'm here also in Fiverr, because I really found that this is a great instrument to make impact. Today, this morning, four big companies, Telefonica, Orange, Engineering in Italy, Atos, have announced they are adopting Fiverr 
as the basis, uh, the standards for creating their smart city platform offering. And what that uh, will mean? It will mean that cities will become really platforms for development of applications by means of combining the APIs that Fiverr provide with the data that cities can offer, we will create a um, rally of standing environment that will help you to create applications for uh, the individuals, for the business local to a given city, everything. This means really making impact. Just think about creating a standard that is common across all cities worldwide, and therefore you come with a standard set of APIs and data you can rely on for creating applications once for all the cities worldwide. That is really making impact, and that is the kind of stuff we are trying to achieve with Fiverr, starting with the smart cities, but soon moving to other sectors in the economy. How tender. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so let me end with uh, with a final word, which is long life rock and roll. No, keep calm, keep calm, keep calm. Okay. L but don't keep calm. Uh, so you have to launch a startup. You have to rush to launch a startup. Because uh, do you remember Back to the Future? Do you remember it? Do you remember the time when McFly settled the future? It was January 2015. So we are now out of time. We are already in the future. We are two months into the future. So don't lose, don't lose time because now the future is now. OK? So. Visit our stand, ask questions. We are here to answer uh, any questions. Um, um, go to the workshop, learn about, learn about the fiber acceleration program. We are here to, to help you. Uh, I don't know. Can we take questions here? Yes, I yeah? think uh, for if any, question? any questions. Or is this like, like the Spanish people who never ask questions? <laughs> that guy over there? Hello, uh, I'm Hongbo from China, and uh, we run one of the uh, largest accessorator specific for mobile internet in China, which is called Inner Valley. So I just would like to know whether uh, for fiber accessorator program, whether you have any uh, idea or any objectives for international collaborations, and how can we find the work together, for example? Well, um Fiverr is an initiative that was born in Europe, but actually our ambition was global, and we are working with, with um, you know, any uh, sort of initiative that may be uh, running in other regions. We started uh, because they uh, really came to us the first time they, they learned about our assistance uh, with people from Latin America. Uh, we are proud to announce that uh, a note of this fiber lab environment that I was talking about uh, was launched very recently in Mexico. Uh, so therefore, this is about open standards. Open standards, open source, the whole fiber platform is completely open source. And an open source community will be launched around this year. And it's going to be open, governed by open processes. So therefore, welcoming anyone to participate. And we are eager to set up liaisons and agreements with other regions where we can uh, make this technology uh, known and, and, and can be used to, to help entrepreneurs all over the world to, to raise uh, their ambition and, and, and materialize their dreams. Any other questions? No. Okay. Okay. 
Otherwise, uh, as I mentioned before, we have a stand, so come to us and we are happy to uh, answer any questions. And please do not forget the workshops that we are running uh, during this whole week and the uh, Developers Week as uh, many other events that we are advertising on our website and also other channels like Twitter. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.